I'm Sean Honkin with Mueller Electronics and I'm going to go through the basic setup of the ISO slurry control module. So here after the ISO uh, slurry control will actually load onto the ECU, you will see basically the same mask that is displayed right here on your display. There might be some different errors and things like that, but we will cover that in the second video, but I'm just going to go through basic setups right now with this. As you will see, we will identify these on the side as the soft keys. There's two sets of soft keys. By pressing the down arrow or the up arrow, you will go to the next set of soft keys. In this set, you will go to, to set it up, you will go through and press the, the soft key that looks like the gear. And then you will see as we label all of our windows, they will be like one of four. So that means there will be four windows within this uh, settings menu. To advance to the next set of men or windows, you will press this key right there, and then that will show you your next set of windows, and so on, and so, so forth. If you want to go back to the beginning, you press and hold that same key, and that will take you right back to the beginning. Now, when you go through, there's just a few key items that you have to set up right away. One will be under units, it might say, uh, mass, make sure that it is on volume. These items right here, you will not need to change. This item right here that says target rate, that will be your target rate for gallons per acre. Then below the, the advance or return key, there will be a speedometer with a gear. Some things that are important and make sure that you have set are speed source is set to GPS or excuse me, is set to ground can, which will be GPS. And the direction sensor will be set to ground can as well. And that will mean, that means you will get all the speed out of the GPS. Now you can press the back key again. And the down set of arrows, and you will see a icon with, uh, it will look like tips of manure coming out of them. Press that. And that is where you put your overall entire width, your spreading width of your, uh, your tank. And we're just gonna go 240 for, for an example. Then you hit the back key and you will notice after you change the, the uh, width, the ECU will actually reset and you will get those two windows that will come up and tell you that it is not, the ECU, Mueller ECU is not talking to the tractor or the display right now. It will go through. You will see this icon right here that looks like a floppy disk, and that means it's reloading right now the object pool onto the Pro 700 or the Intel V4. This takes uh, 30 seconds to a minute, depending upon on how much information is on your Pro 700 or Intelliview. Then we're back to our original mask. Hit the gear again, then down, and you will see that there is a, that is icon with a flow, with a round uh, flow meter basically representation there with a gear on it. You hit that and that will take you into the flow meter setup. Some things to make sure is on your flow meter for a crone or, or whatever flow meter you're using, that the crone flow meter is set to one pulse per gallon output and that is done right on the crone flow meter and then that the correction factor is one on the crone flow meter as well. Then in our two corresponding areas there, it needs to be one and one. One pulse per gallon and the correction factor needs to be one. You should never have to change the correction factor in, in any uh, manure application. If you do, there is something else going on and you'll be needing to follow your troubleshooting steps. You hit the return. And then you see that we are back to the settings one of two page, or one of four, excuse me. Settings two, this is where you put in your tank size, which ours that we're using here is 7,000 gallons. Our tank level alarm, and the tank level alarm is, is meaning the amount that the virtual tank will read when it's the alarm starts sounding, say 500 gallons, 300 gallons, just whatever you want it to sound at. Make sure that that is set there. Joystick with uh, ME assistance, generally you will not touch that, that's always just that. And that's just saying if, if you had a ISO joystick in here that can complete different operations, but uh, most times that's not even used. 
regulation factor. Regulation factor is how fast the valve is moving to apply or not apply. Always make sure that you jump off at nine and just kind of leave it at that number. You can deviate a small amount from nine, but nine is the basically our golden number. As you see these soft keys right here again, we have one that looks like some tanks measure in a gear. That is weights and measures. You hit that, that tells you our categories and volumes, our subcategories, tank volumes, and US gallons. If you are seeing any screens that have, instead of gallons per acre, it reads liters per acre or anything else to that fact, go into the units again where I showed you under the weights and the measures with the gear and change this from whatever it is to make sure it's at US gallons. And then the ECU will actually reset again and you'll have to go through those steps I mentioned prior. So the next step after we've gone through and looked at and changed the, uh, the basically the volumes or the measurements, weight measurement area in the settings, advance to the, you go into the settings window of two, you press the down arrow and you will see the geometry basically of the implement. That is where you put your, for the section one, which this is a half width. So we use 240, so you put 120 inches in there. And then this value right here is from the, the hitch point of the tank to the application point on the bar. The amount over here on this side, on the left side, as we're facing it, that will remain zero at all times. After that is done, you can uh, back out of it, then advance to, again, to the next set of windows. And this is basically just an overview of what is in your settings. It should say, mount, read it, mountain to implement one, number of sections, because we're running one section and our working width is 240. Again, when you go back to this window, the target rate should be, or the amount that is in your tank, when it's full should read right there. That should be your application per acre, what you're wanting to do. This will be your speed, and this is your gallons per minute. This is all your basic installation of the ISO control for the slurry product. If you have any questions, please refer to your owner's manual. Thank you.